Hey, good morning, everybody. The Rev here. Time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Look, someone sent me a mug with my old picture on it. And my, and my saying that I say, yeah, a cup of coffee with Jesus and me. Nothing you could do about it, you know. Hey, if you guys don't mind this morning or today when you're watching, would you make a comment of where you're watching from? I would love to know. I've had people chime in that they're watching from the UK, upstate New York, uh, California. We're here in Oklahoma. I would like to know where you're watching from. Continuing with what the Lord gave me, a chapter a day of Proverbs for 30 days. Today's day 30, but I will continue for one more day because there's one more proverb. And I cannot not go over chapter 31 of Proverbs. Yeah, if you know what it is, you know. My own picture. So chapter 30, verse 11. There's a kind of man who who uh, curses his father and does not bless his mother. I know we've met these people and I've talked about this before. It's like during family things going on, they, they're not gonna they're not gonna honor. And the word of God says to honor your mother and your father. Hey, your mother and father might not have been the best, but you know, a lot of them are just they had their own demons they had to slay and they've got their own issues but you're still supposed to honor not let them walk over you but you're still supposed to show honor where honors do uh, go down to verse 24 and it says four things that are small on this earth but they are exceedingly wise the answer are not a strong people but they prepare their food in the summer the safhanum which is a small rock animal are not a mighty people Yet they make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet all of them go out in ranks. The lizard, the lizard you may grasp with the hands, yet it is in the king's palaces. I mean, people put palace, they put lizards in their palace because they eat bugs. But they grasp on with their, it's like, they grasp on to things and hold on with their hands for, for life, right? But yet they're in the king's palaces. That one is, you need to think about that one for a while. It grasps on and holds on for dear life, but yet it stays in the king's palaces. Sound like anybody we know? There are three things which are stately in their march, even four which are stately when they walk. The lion, which is mighty among beasts and does not retreat before any. The strutting rooster, the male goat also, and the king when his army is with him. He's making a thing is that the, the, they all are stately in their march. Even four are stately when they walk. But the lion doesn't back down from anybody. The strutting rooster, you know, anybody's watched a bandy rooster strut around, it's a little different. And a male goat, they do the same thing. And a king, when his army is with him. They're drawing the picture here. It's like, are you just strutting before yourself? Are you only strutting when you have your entourage with you? Because there are no people that do that. They only strut around when they have their entourage, when they have their, when they have their people around them. That's the only time that they will strut. That's why it's in here. Or are you going to be just like the lion? And the lion backs down from nothing because the lion just is what it is. It's the lion king of the jungle. If you have been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have plotted evil, put your hands on your mouth, for the churning of milk produces butter, and pressing the nose brings forth blood. Some translations actually say getting punched in the nose will bring blood. And so the churning of anger produces strife. What are you churning in your life? What are you, what are you, pretending to be in life what are you because if you churn properly if you're churning milk milk turns into butter right that's what these say what that's what that's what the, the author is saying and it's also saying that the that uh that yeah and you can produce blood if you punch somebody in the nose that works too they're saying that that's that's another type of churning but the churning of anger produces strife don't churn the anger don't bring strife into your life and don't go strutting around, exalting yourself like a banny rooster or a male goat. Goats are just gross. You've never been around them? 
Read up on gro goats. They're gross. <laughs> but be like the lion. Be like the lion and be who you are in Christ Jesus. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow morning for chapter 31. Because we'll continue this and we'll finish the whole book of Proverbs. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. You have a good day. Chiming in below. Let me know where you're watching from. And as always, just remember, he gave his life for you. So go live it in the fullest. In Jesus' name. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.